Masonry tools Laying tools Trowel It is used for picking up mortar from the mortar board. Used for spreading mortar on the wall for bed joints, forming cross joints on blocks, cutting of excess mortar and consolidating cross joints. Spade A spade is a tool designed primarily for the purpose of digging and spreading the soil. Laying tools Level tube Levels are used to measure an exact, level height across a surface, such as a wall or a board. Measuring tape Tape measures are used for longer measurements. The tape is made of steel and is durable and accurate. Laying tools Mortar pan A broad, shallow container of metal, usually having sides flaring outward toward the top, used in keep the mortar. Bucket It is used to contain the material as it is easy to take more mortar from one place to another. Laying tools Jointing board it is 20 mm to 25 mm thick piece of wood. It prevents from mortar dropping. Size is 300 mm long by 775 mm side with a 25 mm gripping piece is screwed to the back of the board. Wall straightening tools. Straightening tool. A piece of timber or aluminum of a convenient length for the brick layer or block layer. Usually 2 meters. Gauge rod. Used for measuring the gauge in brickwork. Wall straightening tools. Plump rule. It's straight edge with a cut line running down the center from the top to within about 150 millimeters from the bottom edge where a hole is made slightly larger than the plumb bob. Spirit level. The spirit level, plumb level is a very useful tool in the brick layering. Made of wood or metal with straight edges. It is fitted with three spirit tubes for leveling and plumbing. Wall straightening tools. Boat level spirit. This level performs the same functions as the spirit level or plumb level. But is used mainly at small openings. Boat levels measure from 225 mm to 300 mm. Corner blocks. Glazed work is involved and the joints are so tight that pins cannot be inserted into them. Corner blocks are used instead of pins to hold the line. Wall straightening tools. Tingle plate. This is a small metal plate with three fingers at one end used to take up the sag of the line. Common size is 100 mm long as shown in image. Cutting and trimming tools. Bolster. The bolster is used for the clean cutting of blocks and concrete components. It has a blade whose cutting edges ranges from 75 mm to 125 mm wide with a slight convex curve. Club hammer. The club hammer is made in two ranges those with a steel head weighing 1.135 kg and those with 1.81 kg head. It is fixed to a handle about 225 mm long. Cutting and trimming tools. Scutch, square and bevel. A stock wedge and reversible blade. It is used for trimming a block when cut. Cold chisel. The cold chisel is made in varying lengths and thickness from 6.25 mm by 400 mm to 25 mm by 450 mm. Cutting and trimming tools. Block axe. The block axe is very popular among block layers. It is used for cutting blocks into required dimensions and for cleaning the cut edges in much same way as a scutch is used. Mason's hand saw. The hand saw with 12 mm teeth is used for cutting soft stones and sand grit blocks. Mason's hand saw is set with chisel shaped teeth of the necessary clearance for the saw cut. Cutting and trimming tools. Cabaran dam stone. A cabaran dam stone is used for rubbing down the cut edges of blocks. Finishing tools. Pointing trowel. Smaller in shape and lighter than the laying trowel. It is used for filling in the joints of a brick or block wall during the pointing operation. Hawk. 
The hawk is a handboard made from wood, steel or aluminum and is used to carry mortar while pointing or plastering. Finishing tools. Plastering trowel. Made of steel with a rectangular face of about 275 mm by 125 mm. Used for laying mortar on the wall surface and when final coat is applied it is used as finishing tool to give smooth surfaced walls. Wooden float. The cross-grained wooden float, as the name implies, has grains running across the sole. Finishing tools. These are made with either wooden or steel plate bent into angle of 90 degree. It is used for finishing angles in near and square from. Two types colon. 1. Internal angle tool 2. External angle tool. Wire brush. Used for cleaning the joints of brick or block work, removing dirt from plastered surfaces before a painting operation and cleaning tiled work etc. Finishing tools. Tacker tool. It is used to make rough RCC surface to get proper hold of bond between mortar and RCC surface for plastering. Joining tool. Jointers. These are popularly called jointers. They are of three main shapes, 